Uh, what I'm going to show you is brazing a carbide tip. Uh, now what I've got is a piece of shim stock, I don't know, 6,000 thick, and I've got uh, borax, so uh, 20 mutein borax, uh, top and bottom of the shim, and I'm using a big tip here because it's propane. And the reason I'm using propane is it's cheap. Um, to light it, you need a little bit of uh, oxygen with the propane. And I'm using a big tip because it heats fast. I mean, really fast. But anyways, I'm coming from the bottom uh, to try to take it easy on the carbide. And I'll heat it up to red heat till the... Uh, the brass melts. And ah, it's going to drop. Now the 20 mule team borax, it's pure borax, and it tends to swell a bit as it heats, and then just just after it, well, it's got to heat up to a, a glass consistency, and you'll see it's tipped, and we'll move it around a little bit, but uh, it'll settle down once once everything gets hot enough. Now, you know, the commercial brazing fluxes work better in that uh, they're, they're ground fine and pre-mixed with water and, and probably have some additives. Now you see it settling down. That's pretty well where I want it. Now once it all cools off, we'll do some grinding on a green wheel. But I, I like brazing them on. It's uh, the, the carbide piece I got was free. It came with my 9x20 lathe. And I started out brazing some carbide to uh, uh, tools for my wood turning lathe. And I, I did some of the screw insert, replaceable insert. So, you know, you're, you're open to uh, you know, it's, it's good to experiment. What, after all, what's a failure cost you? Now, I probably would be better off using tool steel as a base for this. But that's the size of it. Anyways, be sure to turn your oxygen and your fuel gas off. After all, a settling costs you a bunch. So, really, this is about it. i got to wait for it to cool off. And then I'll put it back in my grinding jig and, uh, and go to it and see if I can make a shape that I like. Anyways, get out and try something.